Today we're reading The Skullington Family, Bony Fingers, written by award-winning author M.J. Evans. If you haven't already, please give this video a like and subscribe. A cute and colorful house sits at the edge of a happy little town. It is the home of the Skullington family. They are just like any other family except for one tiny difference. They are a family of skeletons. There is Mr. Skullington, Mrs. Skullington, and their two daughters who are named Tivia and Uma, and one son whose name is Maximilla, but you can call him Max. He looks like a nice family. Mr. Skullington is an orthopedic surgeon. That means he is a bone doctor, and he is a bona fide <laughs> expert in his field. Get it? Bonafide. Mrs. Skullington is a talented sculptor, but her most important job is taking care of the children and the house. She is also a bona fide expert in her field. Mrs. Skullington works from dawn to dusk and beyond. She cooks and bakes, mows and rakes, sews and shops, sweeps and mops. Oh my goodness. She is a very busy person. She's a hard worker. She folds all the clothes, wipes a runny nose, brushes teeth and brushes hair and shows the children what to wear. And all day, every day, the three children play. They dance to hip hop music. They play fetch the bone with the dog. They have a rattling good time on the trampoline. When the sun sets at the end of each long day, Mrs. Skullington is tired to the bone. Have you ever heard that expression, I'm tired to the bone? It means you're just, you're so tired, you're tired to the bone. I think moms know a lot about being tired to the bone. One day, Mrs. Skullington realized that this simply could not go on. So she got out a pencil and a paper and made a list of all the things she does every day. This list was very long. Then she called a family meeting. Look at how long her list is. Have you ever made a list of what you do every day? I hope brushing your teeth is on the list. That's a bone. Did you know that? These are bones. You got to keep them clean. Mr. Scullington came to the meeting. Tibia came to the meeting. Olna came to the meeting. Even Maximilla, whom you can call Max, came to the meeting. Thank you for coming to my meeting, Mrs. Skullington said. I have a bone to pick with all of you. Every day, I work and work. I work my fingers to the bone. All I have to show for it is bony fingers. So, if you have a bone to pick with something, you're like, hey, I got a problem with you, or I have a problem. I got something I need to say. That's what that means. She held up her list. This is a list of all the things I do every day to keep our home and family in good working order, but I can't keep up, and it makes me sad to spend all of my time doing chores and never have any time to play with you. So each of you gets to look over this list and pick the chores that you can do. You know what? It's true. Moms want to play too. They want to have fun. They want to go outside and run around. And if there's too many chores, sometimes they can't. So if everybody pitches in, then everybody gets to play together. Mr. Scullington picked washing the car and mowing the lawn. When he was done, the car sparkled and the lawn was the prettiest in the whole town. We'll see. That's nice. Mr. Mr. Scullington is contributing, as he should. Tibia picked setting the table and helping with dinner. She had fun learning how to cook, especially when it came to making dessert. Olna picked making beds and picking up toys. She discovered that she liked getting all of the toys organized. That way, she could always find what she was looking for. Okay, she's making everything nice and neat. And Maximilla, whom you can call Max, picked taking out the garbage and sweeping the floor. But the first time he did his chore, it did not go so well. He dropped the garbage all over the floor he had just swept, and he had to sweep all over again. 
I'm such a bonehead, he yelled. Hey, Max, don't talk about yourself that way. You shouldn't talk about yourself that way. It's a mistake. Everybody makes mistakes. The happiest person of all was Mrs. Gullington. Even though she still has bony fingers, she is no longer tired to the bone. Now she has time to play games with the children. They love playing stack the bones, and she reads stories to them. Their favorite story is a book called Famous Skeletons Who Weren't Numbskulls. And she even has time to work on her sculptures. Sculptures. So what do you think about the book? I thought it was a great message that sometimes one family member does way more work and the other family members could contribute more. And in this story, the mom was feeling overwhelmed with too much work when she just really wanted to spend time with her family. And once the other family members pitched in, she had more time to play with them and read to them. It's really good to just pitch in. Links below if you want to find a copy of this book or more about MJ Evans. If you haven't already, please give this video a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.